Hi, I'm Jonathan Bowman Perks and welcome back to some of the conversations I've been having with you about inspiring leadership. And today I want to talk about your unique genius. I was very lucky to spend some time, uh, my wife and I spent some time with Miles Downey. And Miles has written various books, particularly around your unique genius. And he reminded us again about that very powerful and very simple equation. Performance equals potential minus interference. Performance equals potential minus interference. And I think this is, it's so simple, but yet it's so powerful. So how are you performing at the moment? And what is your potential, what we call your unique genius? And if you take away all the interference in your life, your performance is your potential. So you actually are playing at your best. And I was, I was reflecting about this, this whole thing about what are these things, these, these interference things, and I put them down to a few. The first one that I come across with a lot of people, and I think I've suffered from it myself a little bit at times, is imposter syndrome. So you think, I'm not good enough. What happens if they find me out? Well, do you know what? Maybe you're not good enough, but you're probably the best person at the time doing that. I remember as an army officer on many occasions that the soldiers would be looking at me and when we're in a very dangerous or threatening situation, they go, what do we do, boss? And inside me, this little voice was going, do you know what, I don't know. But of course, I'm the leader, so I have to make a decision. So perhaps I would consult with them, find out their experiences, and then make a decision. Because you do need to make a decision. And too many leaders I'm with don't make decisions. They dither and people fall out with each other. They I've seen too many boards clashing with each other because the CEO has been weak and hasn't made decisions. So that's the first one, your imposter syndrome. Beware the imposter syndrome. The second one is that is interference that affects your potential being your neat, uh, your performance being your neat potential, is this idea of not living your life on purpose. So we, we write about this in PQ and we measure it in the psychometric inspiring leadership and the 360 version and far too many people are doing things that really don't make their heart sing it doesn't doesn't excite them but they're just doing it because it makes some money or whatever it is but it's not really what their calling was so so spend some time it is always worth it spend some time working out what is your purpose third area is anxiety and depression and as you know in some of the early videos I talked about a number of years ago, I almost took my life in a very difficult situation. And um, post-divorce, uh, it was not a, a happy time, and I felt under a lot of pressure, and I thought about it, going to the edge. And I was recently touched by a note from a friend of mine, a general who's just retired from the Army, James, who told me that he actually was watching these videos. I'd stopped doing them. I'd rather lost confidence that anybody was watching them. But he said it was very sad that you went to the edge, but thank God you came back. And, and that is the case. People who are depressed need deep rest. They are depressed. They need help and they need to work with some other people. And then the other thing which I think causes interference is poor emotional intelligence, EQ as we write about, or relationships. So do tap into the relationships you have. Very lucky that I've got Lee, my wife, uh, our children, and, and some really good friends and some clients that I work with. But without those kind of good relationships with poor, poor emotional and social intelligence, the interference will really erode your neat potential, your unique genius. And finally, the lack of self-belief. Far too many people are really doubting themselves because they make some untrue limiting assumptions that they're living as if they are true. So that's untrue limiting assumptions lived as if it's true. And that blocks you, like, I can't do that. So take a positive alternative assumption, what if you could? What if you could do that? What would it be like? And people instantly find a response to it and an answer. So the session's been on performance and your unique genius. And remember the equation, your performance equals your performance equals your potential minus your interference. So reduce the interference and get your performance being your neat potential. Good luck and nice to talk.